Excellencies, distinguished delegates, I would like to express my appreciation to the government of Sudan and the government of the Republic of Kenya for co-hosting Stockholm Plus 50. The Stockholm Conference was the first conference to make the link between development and the environment. It was also one to place the issue of poverty at the front and center. And today, this commemoration represents an open discussion about maintaining a positive relationship with nature. This discussion comes at critical juncture. It comes at a time when we are all dealing with different environmental concerns as well as rising inequalities. Hence, the necessity of working together to achieve a healthy planet for all of us. For example, as a global community, we cannot escape the daily repercussion of a pandemic. This is a key lesson we have learned from the breakout of the COVID-19 pandemic. As a result, we must foster trustworthy ties between state and non-state actors in order to increase collaboration and solidarity. We can do this by rethinking our future together through inclusivity, knowledge exchange, and learning. This is critical if we want a healthy planet for everyone's sake. As we mark the 50th anniversary of the Stockholm Conference, we must consider what we have done to implement the principles of the Stockholm Declaration, both individually and collectively. More significantly, we must prepare ourselves for the rising environmental challenges that we now encounter on a regular basis. To that end, it is vital to ensure that adequate means are put in place to strengthen national and institutional capacities. It is also important to build the necessary capabilities to comply with the international environmental agreements. I believe my country has been doing its fair share towards ensuring a healthy planet on all fronts. Our Green Legacy Initiative, for example, is an ambitious national flagship initiative launched in 2019 aiming to plant more than 20 billion tree seedlings by 2022. By 2021, we proudly managed to plant 18 billion seedlings already. This year, we will exceed our four-year milestone. This initiative has already paved the way for collaboration and solidarity in the sub-region. As we have been sharing our Green Legacy Initiative to neighboring countries in the spirit of unity. Now, in the final year of our four year target, we will surpass the set goal. Uh, the nation lays a foundation for generational well being. We invite all willing partners to join us in sustaining the Green Legacy journey for generations to come. I thank you.